Okay, so we read the first half of A Sick Day for Amos McGee yesterday, and we worked on our questions. Um, today we're going to pick up where we left off, and we are working on clarifying our questions. Okay, so. Oh, and Kaden was sneaky yesterday, and she saw the page before I shut it fast enough. And she, Kaden, do you want to hit on mute, hon, and tell us what you saw on this page? that what what do you see we see a bus sign yeah do you think that they're in the bus hmm yeah. I wonder where the animals are going me too all right Miss oh Miss my goodness Miss what am I saying Oh, you notice that there was a number five? And it does kind of look like a coin, like money. I wonder if that's the bus number or if that's how much it costs to ride the bus. I don't know. You get to decide that as the reader because there was no words on that page. But now it looks like they're back where the striped room was that John noticed on the cover. Hooray! My good friends are here. So, looking at the page, where did the animals ride the bus to? John? The man. The man to his home. So he's still sick in bed. And he's saying, hooray, his friends came to visit. So the penguin with his balloon. I wonder how he got the balloon because we saw that it was up in the air when he was sad. The elephant, the owl, the tortoise, and the rhino all came to visit him. Brinley? I think I know how the penguin got its balloon back. How? Oh, you think they did teamwork? Maybe. You get to decide that as the reader. Um, John, I see your hand, friend. What's up? Uh-oh, we can't hear you. On the page that we stopped on on the sticky, it, 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 I, I noticed that the balloon was inside the uh, uh, bus. It was, if we flip back like good readers do. John did notice that our penguin friend has his balloon in the bus. I just didn't notice that. I wasn't paying close enough attention. All right, so I wonder what they're gonna do at his house. The elephant prepared a game of chess. Amos thought and thought before making a move. I'm too tired to run races today, said Amos to the tortoise. Let's play hide and seek instead. Oh, that's silly. Why is it funny to play hide and seek with a tortoise? Why would that be silly? Knox? Because the tortoise has a big shell. Oh, Miles, you answered. The tortoise already has like a built-in hiding space, right? Whenever turtles or tortoises get scared, they tuck all their body back into their shell and they have their little hiding space. But it kind of looks like Amos has a shell too. Um, the tortoise hid inside his shell. Amos hid beneath the covers. Amos yawned. I could use a nap. The penguin sat quietly, keeping Amos's feet warm. Achoo! Amos awoke with a sneeze. The rhinoceros was ready with a handkerchief. Oh, do you guys remember back at the beginning of the story how the rhino kept sneezing because of his allergies? 
And now he's ready to help Amos because Amos is sick and sneezing. I'm beginning to feel much better, thank you, said Amos to his friends. He swung his legs out of bed. Perhaps we'll share a pot of tea. Caden? I also have ALRGs. Yeah, me too, actually. My nose is very stuffy today. Amos wound his alarm clock. It's getting late, he said. After all, we have a morning bus to catch. So Amos said good night to the elephant, and good night to the tortoise, and good night to the penguin, and good night to the rhinoceros, and good night to the owl, who, knowing that Amos was afraid of the dark, read a story aloud before turning out the light. Do you think Amos is really afraid of the dark? No. And look, they have a sleepover at Amos's house. The end. All right, so I want to go back and read some of our questions that we came up with and see if we found the answers to them or if we have to decide as a reader. So, Karis asks, where will Amos meet the elephant? Oh, so we found that out yesterday at the beginning of the book. Where did Amos meet the elephant? So there's where we see the elephant, the first page. But if we flip back, what's the setting? Where are they? Grant? The zoo. The zoo! Okay, so Amos meets the elephant at the zoo. All right, and that was Grant. Our next question that we came up with was, why does the rhino have a runny nose? Zach asked that. We found in the book why the rhino had a runny nose. If you remember, raise a quiet hand. Olivia, why did the rhino? Ouch. Because he has allergies. Yeah, the rhino has allergies. Rhino has allergies. And that was Olivia, plus a bunch of other friends I heard say it too. And then we had one more question. John said, why are the animals lined up? And if we go back to that page, if I can find it, friends. Oh, why were the animals lined up? What were they getting ready to do? Kaden? The bus. Oh, can you put that in a complete sentence, please? They were getting ready to go to, onto the bus. Yeah, the animals. answer all of our questions. Tomorrow, when we reread the whole story without stopping so much, we will work on our retell. Okay? Good job today, friends. <laughs>